everyone, it's good to see all of you again. I found some interesting seafood at the supermarket in Taiwan. And likewise, it's very common for Singaporeans to buy seafood at supermarket. But I'm going to show you what I have bought today. I found a piece of, uh, I think that is a uh, flounder because it says Ba Bi Mu Yu. And it only costs about 98 Taiwan dollars, which is roughly slightly less than $5 Singapore. After taking out the fish from the packaging, and now I have a closer look. Yes, it does really look like a flounder or hirame. As this side is dark and this side is like light. It's very well prepared. And um, I never tried this before as in like this kind of fish before in Taiwan so I'm really curious to see how it tastes so let's clean up the fish and then we can start to cook this beautiful piece of fillet even though that uh, you're buying this uh, fish from the supermarket and it's supposedly to be properly cleaned up I will still check like uh, on the skin whether there's, there is like some scales like you see you can see that on this part I can rub my fingers and there's some scales and then of course it's good to give it a quick rinse as well before we proceed to the preparing of this um, fish I'm always very particular about preparing the fish so after you give the fish a good rinse the next thing is that I want to use a paper towel to further clean up the fish and also to just absorb some of the water from the fish fillet. The next thing that I always do is to just sprinkle some salt on both sides of the fish fillet. Then um, just rub the salt over the fish. Um, this step helps to firm up the fish and on the other hand it also draws some more moisture away from the fish and to reduce the fishiness so now we have cleaned and uh, added some salt to the fish so what we're going to do next is just to put this back into the fridge and uh, let it rest between 10 to 15 minutes while waiting we can then prepare the sauce for our today's cooking After taking the fish out from the fridge, remember to give it a quick rinse to remove all the salt and then the next thing that we do is to remove the moisture from the fish by using kitchen or paper towel. Today I'm going to pan fry this fish and then I'm going to cook a sauce and pour it over it. Um, so to let the skin have a little bit of crispiness, normally I will just put in a bit of corn flour to coat the skin to fry the fish we first we put in the oil and then we want to make sure that the oil is hot enough I'll put the skin down Notice that I don't fit the fish until I think that it's ready. So if you're not sure, you just move the fish a little bit. Okay, seems to be alright. Now we are frying the other side of the fish. And uh, probably you just uh, look carefully at the flesh. And once you see that it's turning from translucent to white, it means that the fish is already cooked. Okay, the fish is cooked. I'll just remove it and put it aside. For cooking the sauce, first I'm going to put uh, ginger slices. And 
and then we're going to fry these ginger slices till it, it gives the aroma next i put in some chopped garlic then we put in our salt that we prepared earlier on introduce the fish back to let the fish absorb all the sauce now we put in lots of scallion or spring onion lastly to add some heat i put in a bit of chili just one stock will do and then we can off the fire and basically our dish is done very curious to try the fish so let's go wow okay it's very tender mm. wow soft and it's actually very oily very very tender oh delicious the flesh is very white as you can see from here and it flicks very well mm. I like it I think I will buy more of this fish when I ever see them at the supermarket and cook them differently mm. Mm -mm -mm. it's so good really so good that was a very nice bargain to buy a good fish from the supermarket at that kind of price and I totally enjoyed this dish so the next time when I see this kind of offer again I will buy the fish again and cook it in a different style so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon bye bye